What's going on guys? Again, this is Nick McFarland here with the Weight House in College Park, Florida. And today we're gonna build these biceps and we're gonna show you what in the world this thing actually does. My wrongs, I have just begun. Again, today what we're going to do is focus on the biceps. Now for me specifically when I do a lot of bicep movements, for my arms, my strongest part is my triceps. So a lot of the times even with just basic movement in the in for biceps, you'll see my tricep engage quite a bit. So I'll try to do different movements that help me specifically engage and isolate the bicep. So just like uh, you know, everything else, typical bicep curl. Right, and then you can also do your hammer curl. If you utilize this little uh, mechanism here, it's called the arm blaster or bicep blaster. What it's going to do is take away any of the other outside factors that kind of assist with the bicep, okay, uh, or with the movement. So by putting it up here, now you can you can actually adjust the height here. What I do is the second that you actually have it in position and you have tension on it, then this doesn't really do anything. So make sure you have tension on it. Um, and then just go ahead and do what you were going to do. And you can do this with, with a regular straight bar. You can do it with the easy curl bar. You can do it with the regular dumbbells as well. So you'll just pick your, pick your uh, weight and whatever movement that you're focusing on. Now, when I do my curl, you'll see, even though my tricep may try to become engaged, it's not doing anything. It's forcing my bicep to actually do all the work, and that's what we want. This is uh, this is really all this little mechanism is. It's gonna help you isolate those biceps, help build them, okay? There's that. So, pretty simple, and again, you can do hammer curls, your regular bicep curls, and you can use either one of the bars. And this little doodad do is always right here. Let's say somebody else is already on that. You can take the bench, Put it to the correct height. So now, similar concept. We're going to do one arm at a time. Down and up. We'll take the dumbbell and we'll place pretty much our armpit right there at the end. And then this way we can focus on the negative and then contract on the positive. Come back up. Just like that. Alright? So, there's that. And again, what you could do is if you wanted to get the easy bar, you could do both as well. All right. Luckily, these rogue benches are a little bit wider than most benches, so they're going to give us a little bit more wiggle room now. So there's some simple movements that you can do in here at the weight house or honestly anywhere else you are. Some of them, some places may not have this arm blaster, and that's fine. Really, what you, as long as you know and understand that you're trying to focus on just the bicep engaging the movement and nothing else coming into play. So if you don't have this, going to a bench is a real nice way to go ahead and mimic that movement um, without, and this is a good way to mimic that movement. Now you know how to use this little bicep blaster. Um, and again, if you don't have one of these at the club, if this is somebody watching this video that goes to somewhere else, something like this bench, being able to bring it into an incline and, uh, and mimic the movement, that's going to give you similar results as well. Okay? Um, but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you comment if you have any questions and go ahead and hit that subscribe. Thank you so much for your support and have a wonderful day.